Hey guys, CJ here bringing you a review of the first episode of Powers. Now, PlayStation and Sony have decided to join Netflix, HBO, Hulu, and Microsoft in producing a television series exclusive to members of their subscription service. In this case, the service is PlayStation Plus, which most PlayStation 4 owners already have as it's required to play online in most games. Now what surprises me, honestly, is that PlayStation and Sony opted not to adapt one of their more popular gaming franchises, but instead adapted the hit comic book Powers. Created in 2000 by writer Brian Michael Bendis, who most of us know from Ultimate Spider-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy, and artist Michael Avon Oming from the Mice Templar and the Cross Bronx, Powers follows two detectives in LAPD's Powers Division that investigate cases involving superhumans, or Powers as they're popularly called. The big twist from the usual formula is that one of the detectives, Kristen Walker, is a former superhero himself, forced into retirement when his powers were taken from him. This dynamic gives the character much more to explore within himself as he struggles with no longer being the hero he once was. The cast for this show is honestly one of its most impressive aspects, as it's headlined by Charlotte Copley from District 9 and Chappie, who gives a convincing performance of a man tormented by his past, yet still trying to do what's right, by really doing the only thing he can. Really, for anybody who's a fan of Copley's work, this role should come as something of a relief, as it's already his best performance since he hit the mainstream in District 9. Copley also does a very good American accent, previously seen in the A-Team, only slipping once for a brief second, but come on, let's give that to him. I mean, he's got this heavy South African accent, usually. Uh, so it just that's really hard to cover up, but I mean, he does a really great job. His character's partner, Dina Pilgrim, is played by Susan Hayward from Mother of George and Poltergeist. Josh feels that her character was a bit annoying. I don't really see it that way. I mean, she was give, she gave a solid performance for what she was given, which was the typical cop show, new, overzealous partner versus cynical veteran dynamic. However, this plays well due to the two leads' chemistry and acting talent, and Hayward bounces well off Charlotte Copley's lone wolf role. The plot focuses mostly on world building in this episode, which is of course standard for a pilot, so we're quickly introduced to the villainous teleporter Johnny Royale and Walker's arch enemy Wolf, played by Eddie Izzard, uh, from of course Ocean's 12 and Valkyrie. Wolf, imprisoned in a facility designed to contain criminal powers, torments Walker with the revelation that he was the one that took Walker's powers. Another character featured heavily in this episode is Callista, played by Olesia Rulin from High School Musical and Flying By. Callista is a character many comic book shows and movies just forget to mention entirely, or you know they choose not to explore, the wannabe. She's set up to be much more interesting as the show continues. But by the time you finish episode 1 of Powers, you will already feel like you know the world. So you'll have an interest to see more. Overall, I recommend everyone that watch this show, if they can. Uh, as it looks like PlayStation and Sony is giving us a real treat. So some pros and cons here. The pros, it's a nice twist on the cop in a superhero world story. It's a solid cast headlined by Charlotte Copley. It leaves you wanting more. And it, it really does a great job of exploring that wannabe type character in a superhero show. Someone that really wants powers. Uh, and the only con really that I can possibly list is that the character of Pilgrim what came off as a little annoying. But I really just think that's how she was written. She's just a little overzealous. So tell me in the comments below what are your thoughts. Uh, I've included the link in the description. You can check it out on YouTube right now uh, for free. And then I guess they're going to try to get you to pay for PlayStation Plus for the next episode. But uh, stay right here for more reviews of Powers and more reviews of pretty much everything comics and news and everything really comics. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Comment below with your thoughts on Powers Episode 1. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.